So today I will talk in more details about how cancer actually causes or gives rise to tumors. Primarily, chronic stress activates the neuroendocrine system. And there are two components to this. One is the sympathetic nervous system and the other is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So there is an axis which is present wherein the hypothalamus sends signals to the pituitary and the pituitary in turn sends signals to the adren adrenal glands and that's how this axis is activated. And both of these are chronically activated, that is they are constantly on a rise, then it leads to a decline and dysfunction of the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus under stressful conditions. So when the stress is present for a prolonged period of time and we are not managing it well, something we are not dealing it with it or maybe we are not even paying attention to the fact that we are stressed can lead to activation of these two nervous system pathways and in turn lead to a decline or a dysfunction in the cortex of our brain. The other method by which chronic stress is linked to cancer development is by reducing our immune function as well as raising the body's inflammation. Therefore, the body's surveillance mechanism towards fighting cancer is impaired. Once this gets impaired, we give the body a chance to not able to see the tumors that are growing now once this happens, the immune system is not able to recognize the tumors that are growing in our body and therefore the tumor gets a chance to grow.